Ray has a couple of people on him. Yeah. Hi, my name is Abby. Wow, that's loud. Um, maybe I'm just loud. Uh, this is uh, an emotional time for all of us. Um, I'm from Puerto Rico, and I, you know, I just wanted to give a little comment to the state troopers here. Um, also, I'm a homeowner. I'm not going anywhere. I have a mortgage in here in province. Um, I get stopped all the time by the troopers, and I'm really black, and I have a lot of black friends, and their stories are way worse than mine. Um, they stop me, you know, I know the procedure, turn on the light, put my hands in the steering wheel, you know, give them my license registration. One than three times, they try to open the car and get in the car without a warrant. When I specifically told them, no, they cannot search my car. There's like, a lot worse than that. Um, but I have two questions. One's for the state troopers and one for, uh, what's your name, sir? Clements. Um, I work with the immigrant community and undocumented, and you know, there's a lot of arrests because driving without a license. If you're undocumented, you can have a license. So the community has been getting together for a long time, and we finally put this up and to get what they're not even listening to. Directed to the state troopers. Colonel. Yeah, that's right. Colonel. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I just, I just have two questions, one for each, actually. So, you know, I, I work with the American community and, and we're trying to keep the. the it's just, that's all I talk I'm Puerto Rican. But, um, so we work with the immigrant community and a lot of the rest of the undocumented folks is because they're driving without a license. So we came out with this thing and try to get license for documented folks. Um, and your department really pushed back against license for documented folks. And that would have kept a lot of people safe from going to jail again. And then hold up before you answer. And then I have another question, I guess for both. Um, community members and community getting together, they came up with a community safety net. Um, There was a lot, of, you know, we got um, city councilors on board and they endorsed it, but there was a lot of pushback from the cops. They're like, it's dangerous, you know, they cannot record us. So, a lot of city councilors pulled back because y'all put a lot of pressure into them to not endorse us. Um, I mean, like, I work in my community, you know, that's where they at. I don't really believe in reform. I specifically believe that police should be abolished in prisons also. Um, but, you know, reform is like small steps. Like I'll work with reform small steps for abolition. Um, but I just want to know what you have to say about that. I'll take the first piece. What organization are you referring to? I mean, for the, for the driver's license. Only Real Labor Association. Um, we're solid with that. We are in our zone. Yeah. The only one the organization that I spoke to about driver's license and legal immigrants was We Are Our twice. So you were spoken. Each time I refer them to the General Assembly because it's a state police, police do not make law. We shape policy based on the law. So my opinion in that that doesn't matter. You asked me to send a letter to the governor in legislating supporting your stance. And I didn't support anything. I stayed neutral with it because you were misinformed. We have no information on what is going to happen. The legislative process speaks for itself. I'm not a legislator, you are my governor, so I don't, I say that respectfully, it's, it's a social issue that goes to the legislative process, not a state police issue. So yes sir, towards the second portion of your uh, question, towards the uh, Community Safety Act, we get, we police the community. What does that mean? It's the full spectrum, it's the full gamut. There are some people, like yourself, and I respect your opinion. You believe there is no need for the police in the community. I get that. There are others. When we go to community meetings, I will tell you, we go to tons of community meetings. We keep a temple. We go there, they clamor for the police. They clamor for more police. We need more police action. We need to improve the quality of life here. I know you keep saying that, but that's what they want. They want a better neighborhood to bring up their families 
health, education, housing opportunities all built around that public safety. They couldn't have enough place in their neighborhood. And then the rest of the community, and it runs the full gamut. We are open to any conversation that's going to make us a better police department. But towards the Safety Act, by its name, it's comprehensive. There's a lot to it. Some of it conflicts with union contracts. Some of it conflicts with consent decrees. We can't just say we're in support, but with that said against it. I mean, that fosters a much larger and comprehensive discussion. Uh, but in all honesty, there's a lot to it. And, and we're bound by consent decree and contracts. 